Okay, let's get into it, yeah. Hey, YouTubes. I'm Grimwit. This is Canarium. During this uh, play session, this game is not as long as it appears, but I've been reading it out loud, so that's been... Wow, that's... Flat I thought it'd be. But, uh... Yeah, let's jump in. Again, it's been about a week since I last played. My hope is to finish the game tonight. Although, YouTubes might have a couple extra days on this. And yeah, I have been eaten alive by Genshin Impact. So, that game is a goddamn time succubus. Sucks all of the time out of me. But I think I've learned that you take the game slow. I uh, can't wait for new content to come out. But enough about that game. Let's talk about this game. So we had a whole bunch of crazy shit happen to us. Ooh. What's this? Darkness Within. Wait. That's... That's a game. That's a game by the same publisher. I mean, I guess they have the right to do that. A very popular mystery novel in which the protagonist discovers some dark things that have come to haunt him from the hidden depths of his own lineage. I'll just take that. Turns out his parents were gorillas. Nah! Not real sure why I didn't... There we go. That's good. Let's kind of start it over now. And we're starting with the letter. <sighs> All right, it's Faust's journal. Having heightened my knowledge of the arcane arts, I find myself contemplating the subject of universals, whether definitions exist in nature of things or in mere conception, illusionary and perhaps sheer product of human language. You know what's fucking crazy? That's the right way to use a semicolon. <laughs> our means of receiving impressions are absurdly few. And our notions of surrounding objects infinite, in, infinitely narrow. Wouldn't that just be a straight line? We see things only as we are constructed to see them, and we gain no idea of their absolute nature. So what lies beyond the woven limits of the flesh we've been trapped in? And is it really possible to pass beyond it at least once? What do we know of the world and the universe around us? For the last ten years of my rough life, I've lived with the undulating echoes of those scorching questions that have rendered me a ghost amongst the flocks. By yesternight, or but yesternight, I finally got some answers. That needs to be a comma, lowercase b. During the last session, Frank and I managed to get the printer to work, and even though the results are blurry, we have our first empirical proof of what we saw out there. Is it is it really empirical though? What's going on over here? Secrets. Have I not read these? Huh. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get to that. I want to explore. Like, after spending so much time exploring uh, Tevet, I, I just want to explore this now. Let me go. No, I want to go over there. I want to go. Let me, let me see the picture. There. Oh, hey. Pity you can't see it in this light. We need to be cautious, not to let anyone else see this grand collection. It could be extremely dangerous for both of us. So 
here's the collection. I assume that was just put into my journal. Yep. Well, here's our collection of candles. Here's our... Yeah, you know what? Fuck drawers. Wait a second. Where is this drawer coming from? There... I don't see... Anywhere that needs a drawer. Where's this one from? What? Meanwhile, heads. Yeah, sure. Let's let's take a look at these up close. Deliberately preserved heads from Mesopotamian marshlands. Such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under the scorching sun with methods now lost to us. As well as the sun, they were believed to be symbols of knowledge. It might be my imagination. No, it is my imagination. Never mind. I thought they were all the same model of, uh, of head, but no. Huh. A stuffed sub-adult Nile crocodile. One of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth. <coughs> uh, really? I thought, I thought it would be like a turtle. Okay, these are just repeats. Here's a whole lot of nothing. We uh, we collected it from our expedition in Brazil. A sacrifice ritual mask from Middle Africa. A medicine man mask from Northwest Africa. Glad we're writing all this down. Remember, this collection could be dangerous if fell, fell, fallen into the wrong hands. Although, what, who's to say that we're not the wrong hands? Yeah, I didn't think of that, Mr. Faust, did you? Sorry, Dr. Faust. I'm sure you didn't go to evil lab school just to be called Mr. This relic is from Madagascar. I have two versions, but this one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanalbi. Nobody knows exactly what it means, but from it. No oh, shit! I missed the last part of that. I didn't realize it would stop all of a sudden. It's really. It's not in my journal. Okay, here we go. I a prop. But from its symbolic description of a dark sphere inside a light one, it's as though it could mean the underworld. I had it brought by an old captain friend who often visits the island for trading purposes. Yeah, that's what that was about. This must be the, the second one. Huh? No knowledge about this one. Skeletal. Spoopy. Uh, no, you know, I don't want to leave yet. Let's see what else. Um, photography, maps, I believe it's a compass. Hey, it turns out that that is north and this house is slightly offset. Man, trust it. Hmm. Looks like a preparation for a long trip. Oh, wow. Um, I have much to say about this. Let's put that into my abdomen. Okay, let's let's try to get out of here. What? What a surprise! Right over here. Oh, that continues to go down. Well, before I uh, go downstairs. Here. This is exactly the same room I've been in 
in one of my visions. How you doing, Untrusted? Did you know Antarctica looked like this? It's true. Uh, this guy was in love with globes. Oh, good. Notes. Old friend, what you told me about the shared nature of experience... Of the experience the Coronium provides me... Made me think of the necromantic means of data inquiry. I'm sure you'll remember what I told you about why certain corpses never decay. But rest assure, uh, rest firm and fat in their tombs for thousands of years. I believe with some help from a certain acquaintance, I can provide you with such specimens. This would be beneficial for both of us, I believe. Eagerly awaiting your answer, H1. Been programming. It's coronium, not coronium. Those are both the same word. So, so this was originally painted by a painter on his wall just below the staircase. It's called Jupiter Eating His Son. And it's considered one of the more nightmarish paintings in existence, but it was never framed, and it's actually larger than this. Not that I'd know. No, they aren't. Well, okay. What does coronium with an O mean, then? Books, 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 more books. I can't tell if you're purposefully misreading that or if you have dyslexia. <laughs> I did not intend to do that. But... <laughs> It's, it's dyslexica now. So, okay. Coronium. C-O-R-O-N-I-U-M. Coronium. Oh, oh, you're right. It's conarium. Like a canary. I stand corrected. According to legend... This very djembe belonged to a learned drummer from Senegal, who can speak with the dead by rhythmically beating it. You know what's great is this drum is harder to see when you get it closer to your face, because there's no light. Same will happen here. Let's see if I can fix that. Yeah, there we go. A native drum from the Asmat people of New Guinea. Is it a drum? Their creation myth says Fumeripits made the first carvings of men and women. By beating on this drum, Fumeripits caused the figures to dance, bringing them to life. Hmm. You do it quite a lot in pretty much all the games you play. I seriously think you have dyslexic. Eh, maybe. Who knows? Better question is, should I define myself by what... What I do, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, it's sideways? Let's see if I can rotate this so that I can actually see it. No, no, it actually won't let me. Uh, okay, let's say up is north, which I'm looking for an indication that up is north. Maybe the compass in the middle. In which case, if that's true, then that thing in the bottom left is Brazil. Of course, a na an organic map of this might indicate it could be any place. Like, we don't know how far zoomed in this is. Speakering of which... The world map. Here's a hallucinogenic flower with some kind of Sumerian weird text and a smiley face just below the elder sign on the top right. And I knew the elder things were cute. What else we got here? Ah, Antarctica. I recognize this. The problem with saying I have dyslexica is that if I do have dyslexica, am I become dyslexica? 
Shall I then forever define myself with my inability to read words properly? And will that encourage me to read words improperly? So many questions. So this is what, October 1949. Uh, the 1st, 6th, and 13th are super important. 13th of October is Natchez and Spiral Day. Remember to draw spirals on yourselves. Also, dyslexica is not dyslexica. Oh, hey! Let's start from the right and move our way in. <laughs> move our way around. This looks natural and safe. These don't look haunted at all. Oh, good, writing. Lying outside the known space-time continuum, this is a dimension to which the gate is knowledge, and the key is the canarium. As we started to shed our fleshy built bindings, oh God, don't don't put you. We start to perceive more and more. If we inquire by merely knowing and thinking on a subject matter, windows to related time and space open up before our non-material selves, our minds. And what's better, we grasp, we grasp that the experiences in the sessions are shared and even improved by all of the attendees' personal knowledge, even thinking about the possibilities that this may bestow upon us in our quest for transcending the limits of our mortal bodies is about to make me crazy. Not that I'm not crazy now. But sometimes, I wonder what has been keeping our sanity intact inside this forbidden place. Behind the thick walls of pitch darkness surrounding us, there is something looming, whispering in my ear, in a language familiar, yet I cannot discern its contents. Dyslexica, not dyslexica. Got it. You know what? I'm going to just keep doing this until you go crazy. How would you know if you're sane? How does any of us know? Oh boy, a button. Vault. It looks like something's missing here. Hmm. I don't have much. I have a crowbar. That sounds good. Let's use the crowbar. Oh, I can't, uh, I can't equip shit now. Words are very difficult to, uh, pronounce. What happens if you put the emphasis in the wrong syllable? Try to pronounce it then. Okay, somewhere around here is a key. Wait, can I go in here yet? Hmm. I haven't been here. No, I haven't been here. Ah, 006. Good to see you're looking well. Q has some new arrangements for you. Mask of an all-powerful moon goddess, esteemed by an eastern island tribe, now lost in time. It is from the private collection of the late, famous hermit, Klaus von Herdeth. Don't ask me how I get it. I have my ways. You think this is a reference to the thing in the moonlight? Although that wasn't Lovecraft, so maybe not. Elusive mask from the submerged parts of Kugulin Islands. I have no idea where Kugulia is. A cryptic mask with an untraced origin. Aliens. Uh, that's a worrying picture. Bravo. Can I? Oh, oh, there is no co cover. 
This is called the Mask of the Beholder. Skulls from New Guinea that are believed to be housing protective spirits. Kind of reminds me of voodoo. Plus, e pronounce this word super. Uh, Suprecalifragilistic. E. X Piala I'm sorry, Piali Dosioes. Even though the sound of it is really quite a trolleolis. It's actually how I remembered what kind of sickness I had a couple of years ago. I called it uh, supercalifragilistic ketoacidosis. The nurses got a good chuckle out of that while I was in the hospital. I need a phonograph, Selena. My day, my day has been really fucking relaxed. I had pork cutlet sandwich because uh, I bought it a while ago for cheap and I didn't eat it. And it's like been a week and I'm like, oh. Oh no, I, I hope I'm not going to get sick from eating this. Other than that one worry, it's actually been pretty good. I did my dailies on Genshin and... A serpentine ritual mask from India, which is said to have hypnotic effects on the one who deeply gazes into its eyes. I love you, mask. I don't know, he looks sweet. I mean, she looks sweet. It looks sweet? Uh, I did a lot of research today on uh, the Eightfold Path, and yeah, I just basically had a really relaxing day. Woodland Lizard Spirit Mask. I just got an achievement. I don't remember what it was called. I didn't see it in time. Oh, oh, okay, it's one of these. Or no, it's not. Never mind. Maybe it's because it doesn't have anything in the middle? Please pronounce this. No. Hmm. It sounded like the floor is hollow back there. Huh. Well, in a second, I'm not done exploring this shit. Just gonna have to wait your turn. Oh, this is the uh, coronium. Electric discharge heads, electric sound transmitters. And. Oh, okay. This, this doesn't look like manga art. <laughs> Actually, it's still pretty cool. Why not in voice chat tonight? Because I'm recording for YouTube. Hey, look, it's pages from the Voynich manuscript. Always good for a, a creep show. As told in some banned ancient volumes I was able to acquire, it is evident that the canarium, when properly adapted to work with human psyche and physiology, can transcend the mind, I'm sorry, quote, mind, end quote, beyond the limits of time and space into a particular place we are yet to explore. That is what a run-on sentence looks like. If not for our own experiences corresponding exactly with the depictions provided in the Necronomicon and some other book of forgotten lore, I would easily declare myself a madman. Eh, maybe you should. Conclusively, I have solid evidence print printed out f for me to justify the objectivity of my position. That dimension is completely devoid of... Oh, that dimension is completely devoid of light and other small glowing morphing geometric shapes appearing and disappearing momentarily around us. Did I read that right? That dimension is completely devoid of light 
Oh, other. There is no and. I put an and in there. Other than some small glowing morphing geometric shapes appearing and disappearing momentarily around us. It also feels extremely cold, but I don't... I do believe these are just null sensations that our physical bodies attain from what is otherwise impossible to acquire without the canarium. It is not for us to see this fantastic void with a pair of corporeal eyes, and possibly we are the first explorers ever to reach this ancient forbidden place. But the question now weighing heavy on my mind is, whether we could fully understand this experience with the hindrance of our own limited sensations. Hey, Captain. Okay. Ser seriously? Like, I, I believe they've actually finally decrypted the Voynich manuscript by understanding that it was written in Polish? Or some Slovakian language? Um, and so they've slowly started to figure out the weird, uh, alphabet, which is made worse by bad handwriting. <laughs> uh, you gotta put out another 4x build? Good for you. You got a name for- oh! You got a name for that yet? Let's see here. Uh, we got a couple of things to look at down here. Oh, okay, it's got prongs. Let's just take that. Ah! We got a thingy. Got a thingy and it's right here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to open. Wait, why did it open that? Oh! Did it come with this? Lying outside the known space-time continuum. Yeah, no, I've already read this. Okay. How very strange that it popped up. I hope it wasn't important. Oh, hey. When using Conarium, we are able to be seen as well as to see. For some time, I was detecting a conscious something. Previously unseen by my rudimentary vestiges. Only lately it becomes clear to me. Now it comes into every session and seems to materialize more and more each time. I won't, I won't attempt describing it, but only would say that it's not benevolent. From what I can get from its glowing semblance, which I believe is used as a way of communication, it can sense you only if you spend a considerable time within the sessions. I've read about it in the cursed Necronomicon and some elusive records compiled from deep-rooted Bedouin oral literature. Thus learned that it tries reaching the corporeal vessel to dominate and execute the wanderers of the beyond, such as ourselves. But again, against all warnings, I was a fool to believe that I can stop it with just simple signs and incantations. As a resort, we ended up lighting up the place with myriads of candles as well as electrical lamps. But still shiver with fear, with every noise our rundown enclave is causing. Isolated from ancient darkness of the night. I just noticed that this guy has a thing for women hanging off of beds. Hey, uh, where should I put this painting? Does it have a woman hanging off a bed? Yeah, put it in uh, room B. Hey, what about this painting? Does it have a woman hanging off a bed? Yeah, put it in room B. Incidentally, they both are depicting the same thing. Huh, I just not noticed that. We've got the nightmare, we've got the, uh, the sleep paralysis metaphor. And we've got the exact same thing over here, too. Only with Batman. Well, the nightmare's kind of... The sleep paralysis metaphor is Batman. Anyway. It's time to head to the uh, basement. Have I been in this room? Oh, yeah. Uh, in fact, I think that's where I'm going next. What do 
you people think about uh, women hanging off of beds? Okay, it's a three button lock. I don't recall anything useful, such as little bits of memorable lore. What kind of options do we have here? Uh, white dot, that one symbol that was like an eye of raw. A, uh, I believe that's the symbol for Taurus with a triangle in it. Tentacled sun, scales, three high heel shoes, crescent moon, black dot. That's a question. How well did you do on the puzzle and the base? Like the robot head and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You better pretend like I know what you're talking about. Did pretty good. Did, did excellent. Better than most. I have tremendous puzzle build uh, solving skills. The best in the world. You know, this might actually... This might actually be an answer to my question downstairs. Your mom didn't solve them. I'm, I'm pretty sure that statement's more accurate than I made it sound. Have I opened this box? I have not, and I can't. Uh, maybe upstairs will give me a clue? Lots of candles around here. Took us a long time to light them all. Said, you know what we need? More candles. Speaking of robotic heads. Hmm. I don't see any recognizable symbols, but this would be a good place to hide the symbols. has a lot of difficult puzzles. Yeah, I believe it. I remember that running away from the, uh, from the alien zombies puzzles last week. We all remember that puzzle. With regret. I wonder what I, why I woke up in what is essentially the, uh, the storage room. Wait a second. I live here. Mm -hmm. That's depressing. I don't see any... Oh, dream catchers. Nice. We're, we're missing two masks. Lock's supposed to pe keep people out, not in. And I can't see through the windows anyway.
One six thirteen. I don't. Surely. Well, maybe they're moon phases. I'd probably get another another clue about them being moon phases, though. Hey, here's Time Boar. Book on Antarctica. Here's Candle number 486. I recognize that symbol. Is it hidden in the paintings? Surely they wouldn't put, put so much detail into the paintings. Let me take a look at that puzzle again. I'm convinced this game is inspired by Mist. Yeah, it definitely has a Mist feel, but the puzzles aren't organic like Mist was. But yeah, like this, boy, does this have a mist feel to it. Okay, let me take a look at these. Huh. What do you think that thing in the bottom left is? To me, it looks like three shoes next to each other. Okay, later on it does force you to complete puzzles. Why is that lucky? I'm having trouble remembering where that, uh... It's locked. Oh, it's in here. I swear I saw somebody go through this. So... Check the journal, maybe. Maybe. If I can find this solid evidence. Hmm. Didn't I have a crowbar at some point? Oh, I used it on the floor. Okay. That's how I got the uh, the boards up. Oh, hi. Dear friend, judging from the tone of your last correspondence, I see that you were shocked to hear how far I had been able to progress. You asked me how I did it, and here I tell you every detail. I believe you'll remem remember my mentioning to you a young gentleman named Frank Gilman from Miskatonic University, because of course. When I saw his thesis on the pineal gland, its development and structural evolution and decadence over the course of a thousand years, or thousands of years, I knew I was one step closer to freeing myself from the chains of our corporeal limits. Harley! That boy was able to understand the underlying notions and spot the details I was unsure of. I, contact, I contacted 
and only partly told him about my research so that he may not treat me as others did. As a man of science, I was sure that he would get anxious, and so he did. After days and nights of meticulous work, changing the design of the machine I originally built and fine-tuning it to adapt our physio to our physiology, we managed to make the device work without rejecting by brain, rejection by brain. It was not a design for humans, yet we managed to prepare for us, prepare it for us. Ah, they found the uh, canarium, and then they just sort of retrofitted it to fit onto humans. Always a good idea to take alien, ancient alien technology and make it for humans. Hey, what's this do? I don't know. Fucks with your brain. Cool. Let us let's fuck with our brains with it. Like, yeah, yeah. You remember how those so-called scientific communities mocked me when I first told them about my theory of transcending the human senses using a mechanical device? Oh wait, no, that's not a question. To hell with them! They mocked me with the assertion that it cannot be tested by current methods of scientific inquiry. And here it is! Giving enough empirical data related to the these sessions. It is an alien sensation using it, seeing and feeling without help of one's corporeal body while floating easily in the ocean of darkness. I will write to you again in the coming weeks and invite you to personally see the results. Kind regard, E.W. Ross. A new build. Righto. Thanks, Untrusted. This thing. I never figured out this thing. What's this down here? Ooh, shit I can meddle with. Yes, please. Looks like something's missing here. Ah, there's always something missing here. And I can't quite push the button. Maybe I need a disc or something? Okay. <clears throat> Back to the drawing board. One nice thing is this isn't the kind of game where you have to look at point B in order to find item A. Like uh, the last game was. Since Cyberpunk uh, Thriller Mystery Ghost Story was pretty troublesome. Given that before you could pick up a piece of candy, you had to look at the baby you had to give the candy to. And then go all the way down two flights of stairs to get that piece of candy so that you could go two flights of stairs up to give it to the baby. It was really annoying. Why am I back here? Well, it's already been clear to me that there might be something that I have missed the first time around. I can't really think of anything else that I need to do right now. I have two puzzles and no solutions. Which you... I had some of that in the use the crank for the robot head, which you didn't do. Salty much? You say you're not salty, but I'm getting a different salty vibe here. I'm curious what you have seen and what you haven't seen. Well, my friend, it turns out that that is a curiosity you can sate yourself to your heart's content. 
for I have uploaded all of my adventures in the uh, Canarium game onto YouTube, which is up to date as of this very moment. Checked all these drawers. Maybe not. Hey, more stuff. <clears throat> Dear E. W. Ross, how can we comprehend exactly how much time has passed since the erection of our earliest ziggurats of Samaria? Well, I know what Samaria. Is. What can we know about the time-worn Sphinx still standing on the Giza Plateau? They only justify the sheer ignorance of mankind by forcefully making us admit to our instantaneous vibrations in a vast cosmos are but an illusion. Whoa! Today, I want to inform you about something that is equally as interesting as these edifices. Edifying? Ed edifice? Edif... Ed it's edifices. It's edif <laughs> I don't mean to come up as salty. Ah, uh, oh, okay, tease. Okay, I get that. That's something I presume you will have a hard time believing. I have finally acquired some inf information regarding the fabled cities of Rub. Oh, I'm sorry, Rub al Khali which are said to have been built in the under undreamt age of a certain wonders and rumored to have been intentionally submerged beneath the eternally shifting sands thousands of years ago. I can only assume he's talking about the Hyborian age. There is even more to the story. According to a reliable source, there should be depictions or information about the locations of the ancient conariums buried within those halls. Within a few weeks, you'll receive a book containing all the locations of those cities and a map predating all maps known today, which will make finding shit on this map insanely impossible. Directly copied from the antediluvian originals. I am sure you are excited beyond imagination and eager to discuss these findings and details, but that will have to wait a while, since I'll be away for some time visiting the oriental wonders of the old world. I'm sure you know what I mean. Hope to see you soon, Henry Warren. Well, I did find something new by checking these drawers, so I'm glad I did that. Still no, uh, no example. And I'm... I'm still not seeing any missing drawers. I have no idea where that extra drawer from upstairs is from. I don't know why that's bugging me. It's a little off detail. Why? 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 If you can help me come up with a name for the Forex game, that would be great. I'd like to do more brainstorming with you. Brainstorming with you helps me polish out. Aww. I'm glad I could be of assistance. And it, it is fun. Uh, I'm just not used to being quite so drained by it. But uh, having worked on the outline for my comic, I, I do kind of understand where the drain can come from and get excited. However, I do not need uh, brainstorming for my comic, so... Wish I could go back there and search for more stuff as it stands. I have no fucking clue. You know what? Let's take another look at the basement. I know another look at the basement. Something that had occurred to me is I have three standing of these things. Are these exact replicas of the texture? Yes, they are. I'm not going to find any new information on this just by metagaming. Uh-oh! Somebody pissed off Mandrobot. Tsk, tsk. Hmm. 
probably a spam bot. Yeah, I kind of hope it isn't, but yeah, it probably is. Oh, man. I'm seeing some broken wooden beams here. Fortunately, none of them look like they're load-bearing, so we're probably okay. I got no clues. I mean, we could take a break. I have continually found stuff. But, uh... Yeah, you know what? Might, might take a break now. Put in a cut for YouTubes. Take a sneak peek at the walkthrough. Because if this keeps happening, it's just going to be a lot of me wandering around, and that's not entertaining. I mean, I guess I could, but I don't, I'm not against looking up hints. All right. Going to get water? That sounds good. And everybody who's watching this on YouTube, before you skip to the next video, you know what? Take a break. Go to the restroom. Get some water. That's muy bueno, see? <laughs>